Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled, my name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Switch and Signal. This is a very simple cooperative train game. I've got everything set up on the North America side of the map, on the other side there's a, a European map, and each map has slightly different rules. But I went ahead and I set up everything as they suggest in the rule book for your first game. You want to put two goods in each of the four good cities here. So you can see we have two in Dallas, Chicago, Winnipeg, and Denver. You want to get your seven time tokens there. You take this deck, you shuffle it, you put the blue card on top, and then you remove two cards without looking at them. You then shuffle up this deck and give each player five cards. I'm going to be playing two-handed today. Our goal is to use our three different types of trains to pick up these goods and deliver them to the two port cities, San Francisco and New York. Each one wants one of each color of good. We need to complete that objective before this deck runs out. Now I'll explain everything as we go, so let's just jump right in. The first thing you do at the beginning of every round is flip over the top departure card and you resolve it from top to bottom. At the beginning of every game, you'll always have this card, which is just gonna let us deploy one of each of the three colors of trains. So first we're gonna deploy the black train. And to do that, we just roll the dice and we put a train on that number, in this case, nine. Now we're gonna do the same thing for brown. That's seven. And the gray train. Three. Now the three different trains move at different speeds. So the black train is the fast train, the brown train is the medium, and the gray is the slow train. Now that we've resolved the departure card, we can now play as many cards from our hand as we want. We're gonna have the left hand player start, and you start with five action cards, and this game is kind of interesting because there's really only three different types of cards in this entire deck. We have these switch cards, which show the black tokens, which correspond to these different switches all over the map. You have these signal cards, which correspond to these green discs. And you have train movement cards, which lets you move one of the train. And that's it. Those are the only cards in this deck. So as you can see with our starting hand here, we have one switch card, one signal card, and three train movement cards. You can also play two of any card to be any other card, sort of to be a wild. Now the way this works is very simple. As you can see right here, if we look at our black train, there's a switch right here at this intersection. And right now the black train is blocked because of that switch. So I think what we wanna do right away is play our switch card just put it in the discard pile, and that's gonna let us go to any of these intersections and alter the position of the switch. So we could move it here if we wanted, which would let the train pass through this way, or we could move it here, which would let the train pass through this way towards Winnipeg. But now we have another problem, which is you can see here, there's a red signal going into Winnipeg. In order for this train to get into Winnipeg, we're gonna need to put a signal right there. And that's what we can do with this. So we'll go ahead and play our signal card. And with that, you can move any signal to any other place. The only rule is each of these cities has to have at least one signal. So we couldn't remove the last signal from a city. But we could move this one around if we wanted, or we could use one of these three that are sort of in between cities. And so right now, this one doesn't look like it's much use where it is. So we're going to grab that one and we're going to place it here. Now that black train has a free path to Winnipeg. So it can pick up that yellow good and take it maybe either to New York or even come over here to San Francisco. Now let's take a look at our other trains. You can see here we have this gray train, which is being blocked immediately getting into Dallas here. So that's a problem. If we wanted, we could play two of these to act as a signal card and, you know, move that over there. But I'm not too worried about that. It looks like our brown train has a free access up until here, and then it gets blocked. So I think we're not going to worry about those two trains too much. I think we're going to just play a train movement card. And that's going to let us pick any one of the trains that are on the board 
and roll its movement die. And we want to move that black train. So we're going to roll this movement die. Got a three. And there we go. That's that. And I think for now, we're going to stop right there. So we're going to hold on to these two cards for a following round. So now when you pass and you're done with your turn, you get to draw five cards. You have a hand limit of 10. So as long as you're under 10, you can draw your five cards. Add it to your hand. Oh my goodness, we got so much train movement. Oh no, that's not good. That's now the end of the left player's turn, and we're going to go over to the right player. We just discard that card and flip over the next one. And again, we resolve from top to bottom. So this is saying that we can deploy whatever color train that we want. We get to decide. And then you can see we're going to have two train movements of a train of our choice. Let's go ahead and let's bring out a brown. We roll the placement dice and we got a 10. Now we have to move a train of our color and we're going to move all of the trains of whatever color we pick. And because there's two of them on here, you have to pick a different color for each. So we're going to be moving two colors worth of trains here. First, I think let's move the black. And if you have multiple trains, you're going to roll separately for each one. That's going to be four movement. So we have one, two can get into the city because of that signal. And now if we wanted, we could have it continue on. It could go through this signal and keep going. But instead, we want it to stop. So when you get to a city, you have the choice of stopping basically ignoring the rest of your movement and just stopping. And that's it. And now let's roll for the two brown trains. So we'll do this one first. Two. And then we'll do that one. One. The black train has much higher numbers on here. It has a five, several fours. Whereas the brown, the highest is four. And the gray, the highest is three. And now it's the right player's turn. I think the first thing that they want to do is have the black train pick up one of the goods. It's in the city, but now it needs to pick up a good. And to do that, you just discard any card. And I think they're going to discard a switch card. we really want to prepare the path for this train to get to either New York or San Francisco. Since it's one of the faster trains, it can cover a lot more ground. Maybe we'll have it go the long way to San Francisco. And there's several routes that it could take, but maybe having it come through here, we'd have to pass through Denver. Hmm. That is a long way to go. Could come through Chicago and go down like through there. Okay, I think we're gonna have it go this way. It's gonna try to cut through over there. Now on one of these four-way intersections, you can move these however you want by just spending one card. So we're gonna go like that. But now of course, it's gonna hit a problem right there. So we'll spend another one. And we'll fix that so it can go through there. Now it's going to be blocked here in Denver. But that's still a ways to go before we need to worry about that. I think instead, maybe we'll use this signal to move this so that this gray won't get stuck and we'll be able to go into Dallas. Okay, and I think it's going to save its train movement for later. So it's just going to draw five cards. Three, four, five. Oh my gosh. I shuffled this deck. So much train movement. That is really bad. We're going to have to use some of those. Oh no. We're going to have to use some of those for, uh, for a wild. Because there's no way that we can use that much train movement. 
Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens. We get to deploy another one of our choice. Let's, man, let's get a slow one up there because I'm, I'm kind of worried about what's happening around here. Seven. Okay. Well, that's not great either, is it? <laughs> okay, and now the black train's gonna get to move. Three. One. Two. Three. And now both of the gray trains are gonna get to move. Let's start with this one down here. Two. One. Two, so it got into the city. Good thing we moved that uh, signal. And that gray one up there, this could be a problem. Two, <laughs> no. One, and now it's crashing into the back of the other train. And any time a train can't make its full movement, whether it hits a switch or it hits a place where it needs a signal and there isn't one there, or it hits another train, you're gonna lose these time tokens. We're gonna lose one time token for every movement point that that train couldn't make. In this case, it was supposed to move two and it could only move one, so we're gonna lose one time token. Once all those time tokens are gone, we're gonna have to discard the bottom card of this deck, which is basically the timer for, our, for the game. So we're gonna essentially lose a round every time we run out of time. So it's very bad. We want to definitely try to avoid that. Okay, so we resolve this, and now we have a world of problems. Well, I think it's pretty clear to everyone that the board gaming gods hate me, and they just want to see me fail on camera. Because look at these hands. All train movement. We don't want to waste too much of that train movement, you know, spending two to do something else. Because... You know, then we're not going to be getting a lot of train movement later. So we need to make sure we save this for a good time. But right now we have some problems. We definitely want to pick up here. And then if we could get a signal here, this gray train has a complete path to New York. So we could just let that happen and not be too worried about it. Our black train has all sorts of problems. I mean, we're going to need two switch changes here to get through Denver, and then one here as well. I mean, signals, not switches, signals. We need a signal here, and then we need at least one signal here so the train won't stop there. And we don't have any on either hand. Wow. We also have this log jam here, which we should probably try to get those guys going in different directions, but at least the slower train is in back. I don't know what to do with this mess. I honestly don't. I'm gonna spend two of these to move this here. So at least we can get into Denver, but then we need to be able to get through. Oh my goodness, this is this is a disaster. I want to move this so that this isn't blocked. We need to pick up here. I mean, we kind of have to, right? But we can't use all of these. I think that's all we can do. I think we need to hold on to these right now. Okay. That's all we're going to do. We're going to draw five cards. Okay. Oh my god, more train movement, but at least we got some uh, signals there. Okay, brown and black are moving in that order. Boy, what train do we want to put out? Um, It's going to move. Let's put out a gray, so at least it won't move this round. We can catch our breath. Eight. Now the brown's gonna move. We have two, let's start with this one. Four, wow. One, two, three, four. That was close. And now that guy, three. One, two, and then doesn't have a signal, so it has to stop lost one movement point. Wow, so now both of these trains are stuck. And now the black has to move. Three, one, two, and now it's gonna stop. 
ooh, so this train needs to get out of here so this train can get in because you can't have two trains in the same spot, not even in the cities. Oh boy, so what do we do here? I mean, we need to get some signals. We can get some signals here. Gotta at least get one signal so this guy can go through. And we need a signal here. We might not need this so much. That's a direct... Yeah, okay, so we'll spin these two for a signal. And we'll spin these two as a wild for a signal. Now the problem is we need one here as well for this guy, but I think we'll have to wait on that. So we're gonna stop, we're not gonna use any of that. Draw five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Now we got some, some other things. <laughs> This is going very poorly, if you couldn't tell. Oh, we gotta put another train out. Glorious. Let's do a black train. Five. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. And now the gray trains are moving. Let's start with this one down here. The one we actually want to move. Okay, going two, not bad. One, two. Making its way to New York. This guy, two, one, two, and the top one, one. We want to do some signals now, but actually, hold on. Before we do that, I wanna do some movement here. So here, the order of operation matters here. We're gonna do a movement. I want this gray to move. Whoa, three, nice. One, two, three. Oh, almost made it to New York. Now that it's there, I'm gonna use this signal card to take that signal and put it here. Now again, the rule is that each city has to have at least one of these signals, right? So we can't move the last one out of a city. And now that this uh, train has a complete path, we have two trains that are stuck. Two brown trains. So let's go ahead and move the black train. Three. One, two, three. We can now do a signal here. Then it just has a complete path right to San Francisco. And uh, do we wait on that one? Or do we play our double? I think we risk it. No, no, let's not risk it. Let's play a double and we'll just move that to there. So now it has a path in and out. That one has a path, that one has a path, that one has a path. So we're looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. I think we're gonna stop there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Now we're starting to get a nice mix of cards and that's what we want. Gray moves, then black moves. Let's do this gray. It's a one. So it comes into New York and as soon as it gets in there, it delivers its good and then it goes back into its depot automatically. We don't have to spin cards for that or anything. Okay, that gray is moving one. The last gray is moving three. One, and I didn't see that. We have to stop there. So that's two, three, that we're gonna lose two time. Okay, slight oversight there. <laughs> and now the black train, and actually we have two, don't we? Okay, ooh. So let's do this one first. <laughs> five. So it moves in its one, delivers, and goes away. Yay! So we have delivered one-fourth of the goods that we need. That's a, that's a start. Then this guy's moving two. One, two. Okay, that, that was actually convenient, because I don't think I want him to go this way. I think I want to redirect him this way. Maybe loops in and get that, or come up here and get that one? Not sure. 
What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, we definitely want to give this guy a signal. But where would we take that signal? Because we want to keep that open for this person. So I say, oh, and we want to leave. Oh, we don't want to mess with any of that. So let's go ahead and move that brown train. Really doesn't matter what we roll. Because it's just coming in here. Then we can grab this signal and put it here. I think we'll use one of these to pick up that good. And that yellow needs to go to New York because San Francisco already has its yellow. Ooh, so we want to redirect this guy this way. Or maybe through Chicago down here and then over that way. We kind of need to do that now though, don't we? So I think I want to use this one for that. That'll move like that. We could take a risk because the worst thing that would happen is, you know, it would take sort of the scenic route. Which actually wouldn't be that bad. It could come through here. This is already sort of set up a little bit. I wouldn't mind this moving in though. Nope, actually we're gonna wait on that. Yep, I think we're gonna wait, we're done. Draw five. Ooh, okay. Lots of good stuff there. Let's deploy one of our fast trains. Cause, oh, that's gonna it's gonna move right away though. That's always dangerous. Okay, we'll do a medium. Six. Here. And now the black is gonna move. Three. One, two, three. Okay, we have a bit of a signal issue here because I like want all of these signals. We have that one, we need that one, and then I need this one here, but I don't know where to take it from. We need some of these trains to get moving is what I'm thinking here. So let's, let's get that gray train moving. Just pass that signal. One, okay. <laughs> It's the slow train. Now we can take that signal and we can put it right here. And then we can use a switch to let them through. So now we got a path right through there, out of Chicago. And now if we switch that around, boom, straight to New York. And then that will be Winnipeg sorted. I'm starting to think that this guy needs to go through Denver to Chicago and pick up one of these blues because the blues are going to be a problem. We've got such a jam happening here. It's not even funny. Now this guy's going this way. This is the slow train. So maybe it coming down here and taking one of these would be ideal. We definitely want to look out for our fast train. Like out of signals. It's um, it's tricky. Got too many signals here, just jamming everything up. Okay, I want to move this brown train. Let's just get it into Denver. Let's pick up a good, I guess using this, and then let's send it on its way here. Hopefully we'll roll a four. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four, all the way in. Drops it off. Now we can use this to take that signal and put it right here. There we go. That worked out great. One, two, three, four, five. Grays are moving. All right. Let's do that guy. One. And then we'll do that one. One. It's going that way. All right. What's our plan here? We got lots of cards. But we need something here. But once it goes through, we can move that in. I'm not sure where this guy's going. Man, we got all sorts of messes going on here. Okay. Let's use this to open up that. So at least this guy can go through there. 
And this one, yeah, let's get them moving so we can like sort of clear this out a bit. Let's move that brown. Three. One, two, three. And now let's open this up for them. Because they want to go like that. And maybe we just move them through. Ah, just two. One, two. That's okay, though. We could now take one of those from Chicago and put it here. Let's move our black train in. Stop. Pick up. Okay, and we'll hold on to that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. Black, then brown. Okay, please just be three. Four. Arr. One, two, three, and then it crashes. <laughs> Comes to a screeching halt, and we lose a time. So close. And now this brown. Just a one. No! <laughs> And that one, a three. One, two, three. Oh, no. Actually, sorry. This can't go through there because it's, it's stopped. So we lose another time. Wow. That went well. We have one time left before we lose one of these cards. And we're running out of cards as it is. Great. We need to redirect this guy back over to San Francisco. We need to get these ones funneling over here to get these blue ones. This is not going to happen, is it? Well, okay. So, oh, this guy could come back around like that. That's a good idea. So let's move it like that. So then it just goes zoop. Hey, now we're thinking. And in fact... Let's just go ahead and open that all the way up. All the way. Okay, not bad. I think we want this guy, yeah, to come through here and pick up that white Cuban Denver. And we'll have this one pass through. Okay, so we're going to take that switch that we don't need anymore and put it here. I'm going to use this train movement to try to get the black train going. Two. One, two. Well, that's not great. I think we save this. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Black train. All right. Don't mind that. Four. One, two, three, four. Right away. Open that up. It's got a clear path except for that. We got to get these trains moving, man. We're running out of time in a big way. We need to open up this route. Oh, no, unless we want to go that way. It might be better. Oops, like that, like that. I just want to move this train. Four. Ooh, that's too much. <laughs> One, two. Lost that, so three. We have to lose a card. From the bottom of the deck. Put these back. And then four. Forgot about that. Well, we're gonna do that a little a little later. We should have done that in the other order, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo that. And now we have a collision course in the making. So let's go ahead and try to get this guy going through. 
two. One, two. Okay, yeah. Worst possible, worst possible outcome. Awesome. Oh, I think we're done there. One, two, three, four, five. This is all going very, very badly. Okay, brown trains. This one is just moving in. And this one is heading home. Okay. Only have half the cubes in. Not good, not good. Okay, right-hand player has a ton of, of uh, signals. Ton of signals. Let's use one of those signals to pick up. Let's use one of those signals. To go here, let's change this switch. I think that's the best way of getting through there. Not sure. Let's go ahead and actually we can just take, eh, take this one, right? Put it here. Let's move that brown train to one, two. Okay, and we'll save that. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, okay, we're deploying two different types of trains, and then we're moving a color of our choice. Let's do a brown and a black. So let's do the black first on 11. And then the brown, five. And that black train might actually help us because it's close to Chicago and it's got a path. So let's go ahead and move black trains. Let's do this bottom one first. Two, wow, I am rolling really bad for that one. Oh, it needs a signal there. I didn't even see that. And then that one up there, three. Three. Well, let's give this signal so it can get home. We need to move this so this guy can get in and we gotta give it a signal. Let's try to move this through. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's move it. Four, hey, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. We can switch that around like so. And then we can get this switch proper. I don't need this one. Go like that. Now I wonder if we don't just move that black train. Yeah. I move that black train. Three, one, two. Okay, so we're moving brown. Two, one, two, so close. And then this one, two, one, two. <laughs> it's kind of trapped, but that's fine. Now that gray, one, this gray, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's a few things we have to do. We have to do this so we can move that. So that train can come in here and pick that up and then just have a clear path to New York. Perfect. We now need to pick up a blue cube here. And we're going to be sending this train down through here. Maybe out up to here and then around, something like that. So we don't need this train at all. We need this train to get out of the way. See, if we try to send this train down, I'm worried that we're going to have a collision here. Actually, this could come down here and take that path 
behind this guy. I don't mind that. I'm going to spend two of these. No, no, no. Like this. Through there. Through there. Boom. Yeah, and then we're going to move it. We'll move that black. Ah, just two. Why do I keep rolling two? One, two. But that is enough where I can move this to here. Okay. I think that works. Don't think we're going to have enough train movement to get these guys in. That's the problem that we're going to have because we used up all that train movement early. Uh, we'll see. Ugh, brown's going. Good gravy. I think we just want slow trains now because, you know, we don't need them. So let's get our slow train out on seven. That'll be fine. That doesn't bother me at all. But now these browns are going. This guy's going to come in with a four. And hopefully this isn't too much. Two. Okay. They're just running up against that signal. We're losing two time. That could have been worse. So what's the left-hand player going to do? Okay. Well, okay. We're going to have to move this. Like, th like that. So now we have clear path, clear path, clear path. Everything's clear. So now we just need movement. That's all we have to do right now. And so I'm going to count on one of these giving us black movement to move both of those. And I'm going to focus on this guy. So we're going to do gray. Two. Okay. Let's spin two to get the gray in. And then we'll use this to pick up. Okay. So we have all the goods picked up. We have clear paths to where we're going. It's just about can we get them in in time? That's all we're worried about at this point. One, two, three, four, five. So seeing some train movement here, which of course we don't because we saw it all at the beginning of the game. Oh boy. Okay, it's really coming down to the wire here. Oh man, this needs to be good. We want to see black train movement here. And we don't want to see brown because we cannot afford to lose four time. Ooh, okay. That is not bad. That is actually fantastic. For our first one, we're going to move black trains. And let's start with that one. Four, yes. One, two, three, and in. And now this one... Three. One, two, three. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more for that one. Okay. And now our second movement, we're going to do all the gray trains. And let's start with the only one that matters. Ah, it's a one. Okay. And now we got to move these guys. This one. Three. One two, three, and then this one is a one. And now, like I said, all that matters is movement. Let's do these two to move the gray first. That's a one. We're only going to get to do one more here. So let's do the black so we give ourselves a chance. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. Can't do anything with that. Oh, man. So it doesn't matter. Drawing doesn't matter because we're not going to get back to that player. This is the last card. Oh, we're going to have to move all three. So we got to put one down. We'll put a brown. On ten. And now we got to move all three colors. So let's start with black. Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. And he's in. And 
And now gray. A two, and we won. Yeah! One, two, in. And I think we win immediately. Let's let's move everything first, just to make sure. That'd be a one. That's a three. One, two, three. Brown on top is a one. Brown down here is a three. <laughs> so we lose three time tokens. And we have one left. Do you win immediately or do you have to finish out the whole round? See, these are things I don't know. Aha, as soon as you've delivered the eighth and last good cube in the port, the game ends immediately and you've won. So there we go. It, that didn't matter. We won immediately. Now, I was so excited about all that. What I forgot completely... <laughs> is that we actually have some special characters at the top that we can use. And so we totally could have used that at that end there. Let me go over these special characters since I completely forgot them. The one to the left there lets you, when you draw one of these uh, departure cards, you can decide to ignore it, put it at the bottom of the pile, and then draw a new one. All right, so if you get a particularly bad one, you could do that. The one in the middle, she lets you ignore one train movement. So we could have done that here. We could have used her. You only get to use them once in the entire game. So you cover them. We could have used her to not have to move this train. And so we would have saved uh, three time tokens there. But of course we had won the game before then anyway. But we could have done that before when we would have lost all that time. And that probably would have been a good idea. But I was so excited I totally forgot about them. And then the one on the end there, he lets you, instead of rolling to see where a train goes, you can actually select the spot where the train will go. But ultimately, we didn't even need them. We won the game anyway. So there you go. That is a complete solo playthrough of Switch and Signal. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.